The topic of this video is solving radical equations. We will be working with equations that have radicals in them. A common technique for getting rid of radicals is to isolate them, then raise them to powers that match their index. For example, to get rid of the radical in the expression cube root of the difference 2x minus 7, we note the index is 3 and raise the radical to the third power. This gives us the cube root of the difference 2x minus 7, all in parentheses, cubed, which is equivalent to 2x minus 7. You could say that the cube and the cube root cancelled each other. Of course, since we are dealing with equations, whatever we do to one side, we must also do to the other. We must be careful, however, when we raise both sides of an equation to a power. We may introduce extraneous solutions, which are solutions that appear to be correct, but are actually incorrect in the context of the problem. For example, we know that negative 3 equals 3 is a false statement, but when we square both sides, we get 9 equals 9, which is a true statement. So as you can see, squaring both sides of a math statement can turn true into false or vice versa. Therefore, whenever we use this technique, raising both sides of an equation to a power, we must check our final answers to make sure that they are all correct. This idea is incorporated into the steps for solving a radical equation. Steps for solving a radical equation. Step 1. Isolate one radical on one side of the equation. Step 2. Raise each side of the equation to a power equal to the index of the isolated radical and simplify. Step 3. If the equation still contains a radical term, repeat steps 1 and 2. If not, solve the equation. Step 4. Check all proposed solutions in the original equation. It is worth discussing what the word isolate means in the context of these four steps. Although isolate means to get alone on one side, this four-step method will work even if a single radical is being multiplied by a number. A radical with add or subtract before or after it is not isolated. A radical being divided should not be considered isolated either. But if a radical has a single multiplying factor out front, then you may consider that radical isolated.